deal with it viewers and subscribers another quick update on what's going on in dancehall so Ragin king is still working on getting his health to 100 since his accident last year skilly bang's sloppy challenge causes mixed reactions on social media and youtube gives back to the music industry wonder how youtube did that or even why stick around for the breakdown <laughs> Viewers and subscribers, welcome to another video from Lee Miller RTV. If you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe, click the notification bell so you can be the first to be notified of new contents. Don't forget to like, share and also comment your thoughts below. With that being said, let's get to business. So as you already know, if you do not, then let me shed some light. Dancers One King, Ragging King, Dancers Body Sting is set to release his album sometime this year but he has been trying his best in regards to recovering his health so everything can be done exactly how he wants it but let me provide a proper update on what's been happening so far with Ragging King himself so dancer star Ragging King left the island this morning that was when the article was um, posted to do a major consultation with orthopedic specialists in the United States the tough singer was spotted in first class of a Caribbean Airlines flight by passengers who took photos of the artist. Sources told Dan Salmang that the artist will check into a private facility where he will undergo an intensive week-long rehabilitative program. King reportedly suffered damage from a bullet that grazed his spine during a gun attack last year. He is still not walking yet but he has tingling in his legs so we are hoping he will make a full recovery. The specialist will do a full workup and get him the help he needs, one source told Dan Salmang. An orthopedic doctor is a broad is a board sorry certified surgeon who specializes in problems from head to toe of the musculoskeletal system. This includes of course the spine. And orthopedists might address conditions such as ruptured disc, scoliosis or other types of neck or low back pain. I understand people so it 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 look like say I'm still a go get over everything and uh, recover normal. So King 25, whose real name is Matthew Smith. Returned to the scene last year after being hospitalized following the attack on his entourage that left him severely injured. He will continue to celebrate his survival with the release of the visual of the reflective Inamo mine and the Zuki Records imprint. The artist has made an adverse journey from death's door after being shot three times by men in Century District that's in Westmoreland. The entertainer was reportedly chased into a gully and shot by a gunman and suffered injuries to his back and leg. During the attack, 28-year-old Sasha Lee Blackwood, who was sitting inside the vehicle with two children, was shot and killed. Blackwood was the baby mother of Ragin King's manager. God give me strength and life. Once we have life, we can work to make everything else better. My album is going to be big. I have a testimony to tell the world. Just that I regain my confidence. Them shot a lot of energy out of me, Ragin King said last month. He did a series of major operations, the last procedure taking place in July 2020. Since his dramatic return a few months ago, King has been releasing new music and videos defying all talk of possible losing um, ability to walk. His team also directly denounced rumors that King was paralyzed after he completed a second surge in July. Two of his standout songs he has released since his return are Plaintive No Emotion who racked up, which racked up 5.1 million views, um, The Defiant Mission which registered 1.1 million views, and a reminder of his come up dubbed dancehall body sting which hit which hit to the top 10 on trending and racked up 1.7 million views since its release on april 9th another single squeeze trigger has over 500,000 views since its release um a week and a half ago the heart is as thank his fans for the loyalty love and support they have been continuously sending his way i just want to thank my fans for their time for their support and I know they are waiting on the album. This is no release date yet, but it will have 15 tracks put together by various producers plus tracks on my Ragging Trap Records label, he said. The star came to prominence in 2018 when he was closing um, Reggae Sumfest. He is known for songs including Tough, Home Grow, Eruption, and Things Go Change. So, there you have it, people, but definitely we still a hope, say, Ragging King regain him strength and him health a hundred percent so him can get fair get the album done so him can get fair do everything he need for him, him can up again with him family and him son and daughter I understand people so next up is youtube so youtube has given back to the entertainment industry to help support the artist them 
let's hear the proper update on how YouTube actually managed to do that. So in a year where many artists were unable to perform live for fans all over the world due to the government restrictions which was aimed at stemming the pandemic, YouTube's um, global CEO Mr. Cohen reported that the platform paid out $4 billion to artists over the last 12 months. In a letter released today, June 2nd, that was the day the article was posted, Cohen stated that I'm so proud to share that YouTube has paid over $4 billion to the music industry in the last 12 months alone and has added more paid members in the first quarter of this year than in any other quarter since launch. YouTube is actually one of the biggest or largest social media platforms, second only to Facebook and that's according to data from Statista, that's a website that provides um, any kind of information in relation to social media data. So over the last year, the Caribbean saw more artists than ever streaming more than 100 million times or more, with some local artists clocking over 50 million views with a single video or visual audio content on YouTube. World Music Viewers reported that in the last year, Shensia was the most streamed female artist in the Caribbean with over 150 million streams across her catalog with Coffee coming a close second. Other artists that streamed over 100 million include Skilly Beng and Tyra Riley. Damian Marley, Popcorn and Alkaline streamed over 200 million times in the last 12 months. Vibes Cartel and Shaggy each streamed just over 400 million times that's ridiculous people like the amount of streams these artists right here one two three four five six seven eight nine just nine artists alone get them kind of streams yeah out of last year it, that did crazy people bob marley's music has been streamed over 600 million times but it was sean paul who broke the record for most stream caribbean artists on youtube for the third year in a row he surpassed 1 billion streams across his extensive reggae-infused pop catalog. Damian Marlin commenting on YouTube and streaming's impact on Caribbean music said on the World Music Views podcast that streaming has validated the music in the region. Cohen is expressing YouTube's commitment to growing the music industry across the world. He says that through their ad-supported free tier in 180 countries and subscription tier in 96 countries, that they are giving users a choice to pay with their attention or their wallets. YouTube is the world's largest stage and advertisers are eager to tap into the deep music engagement that the platform enables. With over 2 billion users watching music videos monthly, YouTube allows advertisers sorry, to reach audiences that they can't follow elsewhere. So YouTube has three separate paying rates. And even though it is less than other platforms such as Spotify, Apple and Tidal, the difference with YouTube is that it has the biggest um, users, over 2 billion users that's monthly tuning in to, to find out what is going on. So it is a good look so far, definitely, to see what is going on. And like I said, to point out, YouTube does not pay as much as the other streaming platforms. But like the article pointed out from Mr. Cohen himself, YouTube has way more users than um, every other platform. So imagine 2 billion people using a program each month. So even if one program will pay a dollar versus something will pay 0 0.0069, you can do the math you get the numbers yourself. So like all people say, people have a mickle, make a muckle. So at the end of the day, Trending on YouTube is still a thing and it is it is still necessary. So if you can drop the hit song them and get your, your song to be promoted and number one. So YouTube and everybody in your region or whoever can see it, then that's definitely a good look. Finally, the hot topic right now. So Skilly Bing is causing a bit of controversy with his recent challenge to the ladies called Sloppy Challenge. But let me read again the proper article to tell you what is going on. So, dancehall DJ Skilly Bing has re received mixed reactions to the visuals and viral challenge for his wild new single Sloppy. 
The music video for the track was released on May 28 and the song appears on Skilly Bang's latest project, The Prodigy, Ladies Only Edition, alongside a slew of other cuts geared towards his female fans. And Sloppy the dancehall star gets screwed on a trap beat celebrating the freaky females he prefers. She love gunman, aka with a pun. She's a freak, she love Molly. She a freak, call me daddy. She not a man and she a freak, so damn sloppy, he spits on the track. So, Jaja. Jaja. Sang ya something else, people, but I could go on with it, see me. As if the music video with several females competing for Skilly Bang's attention wasn't controversial enough, the artist added a viral challenge that's currently creating a stir in the dancehall space. The Sloppy Challenge invites females from all over to upload their best clips acting out the song's bars. The challenge has so far received over 40 entries, which are highlighted on Skilly Bang's Instagram page. The sloppiest video wins 350k Skilly Bang declared, but he's faced backlash after only three days from fans, trolls and outlets alike who have lashed out at the antics. Screenshots of a comment from a popular outlet have been making the rounds, calling out the contestants for degrading themselves on the internet, all for the cash price of 350 JMD. Females cry every day about respect, but don't even respect themselves. Imagine me have my wife, girlfriend, sister, relative in Skilly Bang Sloppy Challenge, expressing herself in such way because of money. Is that what society comes to? This is what women want to be respected for, the user wrote. On top of that, one entry from contestant 14, was so heavily suggested that it was reported and subs subsequently removed from Skilly Bang's Instagram page. Fans seem divided as to whether they are entertained or disgusted by the latest campaign from the Starpeda DJ. Elsewhere, users responded, women do these things and expect to take them serious, while another um, added, them now have parents. Others who were clearly feeling Skilly Bang's festivities said are over this are nice, while others commented, be a virus in a this. As well as Skilly Bang brings the devil out in women, <laughs> general people. So viewers and subscribers, it's safe to say that this is the most outrageous challenge in dancehall so far. I personally don't mind the challenge because this is part of dancehall, again. But this is why reggae is, is more ahead than dancehall because dancehall is just out there. But good thing is that these challenges don't last forever. You know, like it's not like next month people are going to be still sending out videos um, and still promoting or whatever. But what are your thoughts on this? Is this played out too much since Vibes Scott has already popularized it? Since Alkaline also came and did this thing again in dancehall concerning females and this freakiness. But let me know your thoughts. And since um, Night Skilly Bang posted again on his Instagram declaring number 14 the winner. And you can hear a song in the background like Skilly Bang has already put pen to paper and created a song and, and shouting out all the contestants them that were in the top 10 or that made a, a hot video. So I'm going to play a piece of it so you can hear and let me know what are your thoughts. Guys, I'm leaving you with this clip, but don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'm out. Why not? 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 Why not?